A Washington, D.C. appeals court rules today that former President Donald Trump is not immune from criminal prosecution related to his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election, including his actions on January 6, 2021. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. Trump's attorneys had argued he was immune from prosecution because of the fact that he was acting as the president at the time. News 10's Justin Kent spoke with a legal expert about today's ruling. We have a president, uh, a former president, a candidate for president, uh, who's indicted on, in four different courts, two state and two federal, for about 91 different indictments. Uh, and the highest court that has ruled on this matter says he is not immune from suit and that those cases are going to go forward. The three-judge panel of U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia ruled that there was no basis for Trump to assert that former presidents have blanket immunity from prosecution for any acts committed as president. New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik said this is all an attempt to remove the former president from the ballot. President Donald Trump did not engage in insurrectional rebellion against the United States. That is a fact. Rogue far-left Democrat operatives are attempting to use this lie to illegally take President Trump off the ballot. According to Trump's campaign spokesperson, they are expecting him to appeal the ruling. A Cooley Law professor, Michael McDaniel, said the ruling shows no one person is above the law that the overall theme uh, by this opinion throughout its 57 pages is that everyone is subject to the law, including the president of the United States, that no one is above the law. Although this particular case will not prevent former President Donald Trump from running for office for this upcoming presidential election, this Thursday another hearing will begin that could. Yeah, two days from now, arguments are being heard on the case as to whether or not the insurrection clause found at Section 3 of the 14th Amendment bars him from seeking federal office. Reporting for News 10, I'm Justin Kent. Trump's campaign spokesperson released a statement today about the ruling. It says in part, if immunity is not granted to a president, every future president who leaves office will be immediately indicted by the opposing party. Without complete immunity, a president of the United States would not be able to properly function.